One of my instructions clearly stated, should you feel ill and on the verge of collapse, phone Candice immediately to confirm you've done everything on the list, then phone 999. You look absolutely stunning, but that was never in any doubt. You are so beautiful, caring, thoughtful, clever and funny, that I often wonder how on earth I've come to be your husband. But then I remember how handsome, charming, <laughs> witty and clever I am. And it all falls into place. I promise to be with you always, to care for you and to love you. I will be with you in your heart and promise to keep you safely in mine. When you are happy, I will be happy with you. And when you are sad, I will make you smile. Unfortunately, I didn't teach him to drink. When it comes to that, as many noises are lightweight. <laughs> this, however, has some benefits because when he drinks, he gets an urge to take on bouncers and tell them the faults. <laughs> but anyway, he does have good points. He's breathing. <laughs> He's local. Tall. Average looking. So, I hope you grow to like him. P.S. Don't mention his ears. Um, there is, of course, one person who I'd like to thank more than anyone. Thank you, Candice. Thank you for being so many things to me. You are my best friend, my inspiration, my soulmate, and now my wife. So, uh, could you please raise your glasses and join me in a toast to my beautiful wife, to Candice. <laughs> <laughs>